Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Code with Sunny and in this video we will be talking about the problems of weekly contest 3 to 5 and uh, there will be 4 problems, there are 4 problems and uh, in this video we will be talking about the very first problem shortest distance to target a string in a circular array ok so uh, let me explain you the problem what actually the problem is and what we are uh, supposed to find it out so we are given the words and this words is a set of strings ok so we are given an array of strings ok so it is actually an array of strings ok so this is the first data that is given to you and the second data is the target string that is also given to you ok and the third data is the start index start index ok and the uh, array of string that is given to you is in a circular fashion that is if uh, if we have the set of strings as a0 a1 a2 a3 let's say we have four strings and the strings are in a circular uh, like the set of strings are in a circular fashion it means that for a0 uh, the right of a0 will be a1 and the left of a0 is nothing so it would go to a3 okay similarly uh, we have this a1 left of a1 is a0 and right of a1 is a2 and uh, for a2 left of uh, a2 is a1 and right of a2 is a3 and for a3 left of uh, a3 is a2 and right of a3 is nothing so it becomes a0 so it is actually in a circular fashion okay so and also we are given the target string and the start index okay so we have been given some target string okay target string remember that target string may be present in the array of words or it may not be present in the array of words there are two possible cases target string can be present in the array of strings that is given to us or it cannot be present and also we have been given the start index ok and now uh, what we are supposed to find is the shortest path shortest path length shortest path to reach target string to reach target string from start index ok so we need to find the shortest length of that path the, uh, from the start index to the target string suppose we have this set of st uh, strings that is being given to you a3 a4 and a5 okay and uh, uh, suppose we have this uh, target string that is present at a4 and uh, suppose there are two target words like there uh, may be one or more words that are also present and this is a0 and a1 let's say it is smart s-m-a-r-t smart and this is our target string and suppose we have been given some start index let's say the start index is uh, let's say it is let it be a1 okay so this is our start index okay so we need to find the length of the shortest path uh, from start index to the uh, target string you can see that from a1 you can go to a3 so let me write down from a1 you can go to a3 in one step also you can go from a1 to a4 which is also a target string from 1 to 3 steps ok ok so you can see what is the minimum of these two things minimum of these two things is 1 so our answer will be 1 ok remember that it is going to be in a circular fashion ok now how the circular uh, uh, circular array of words will uh, change your answer let us try to talk about that suppose we have this set of strings as a0 a1 a2 a3 a4 and let's say we have this a5 also so we have uh, six strings and suppose this is your start index start index and suppose your target string is going to be uh, let me say this is our let me change the color first so this will be your target target string and you are supposed to find out the length of the shortest path from the start index to the end index ok so one of the path would be uh, like uh, a4 to a3 then a2 then a1 then a0 so what is the length of the shortest path 1 2 3 4 ok so a4 to a3 to a2 then to a1 then to a0 the length of the shortest path is coming out to be 4 
and there is one another way where you can uh, with which you can reach out to the a0 which is nothing but a4 to a5 then a5 to a0 you can see it would be something like this a4 to a5 a5 to a0 you can see the answer is coming out to be 2 so what is the minimum of this one and this one which is 2 so 2 will be your answer remember that this array is in a circular fashion so you need to uh, compute the answers very efficiently okay so uh, what will be our approach to solve this problem efficiently so what i have actually done is suppose you have this set of strings a0 a1 a2 a3 let's say we have these five strings so what actually i have done is i have just appended this same set of strings to the left of the current set and to the right of the current set okay so we have a uh, totally uh, 3 into n let me write down 3 into n size array okay and how it is how it is going to be done so i have just write uh, written down a0 a1 a2 a3 a4 and i have also appended one more set to the right of the current set which is again a0 a1 a2 a3 and a4 now you can see this size of this set is three times the original size okay so uh, to avoid the complications uh, while uh, while you are just calculating the length of the shortest path in a circular way uh, uh, i have just implemented i have just uh, used this modified array to answer the uh, length of the shortest path efficiently okay so suppose you have some starting index over here let's say you have the some starting index over here and you have some target strings okay so you will go to the right of it and find out the target string and similarly you will go to the left of this modified array and find out the tar uh, target string and you will minimize your answer answer equals min of answer comma suppose you are uh, at the right of it so or at the left of it so you will find out something like this absolute value of your current position let's say position minus starting index okay you will uh, do this for each target for each modified string let the modified string array is going to be arr of pose exactly equal to target string okay so this will give you the minimum length of the shortest path okay so let's look out to the code how it is going to be efficiently implemented okay so you can see this is our original size and uh, uh, I've just iterated in the original array three times and I've just tried to fill this modified uh, array of strings which is stored okay and also our start index will be modified because we have uh, we have this uh, uh, set of strings a0 to a4 in the middle okay so we have just shifted to the n step forward so I've just written down start index plus equal to n okay uh, now i need to minimize our answer so i've just move on to the right side of this one you can see i equal to start index and i less than 3 and i plus plus i have uh, just uh, tried to move forward okay so for that you can see if stored of i is equal to target if we encounter the target string we are just minimizing our answer uh, with the length which is i minus start index similarly we will go to the backward and if we are also minimizing start index minus i okay uh, if answer remains as int max we need to return minus 1 also okay so this will give you all test cases passed so the complexity of this approach is o of n time complexity and similarly the space complexity will also be o of n in worst case okay so if you have any doubts you can reach out to me through the comment section of the video and thank you for watching this video